This film is of commercial flounder fishing aboard the Lady Kim, fishing off of Ocean City, Maryland, during the winter of 1980. The captain is Tony Watson. The method of fishing is known as otter trawling. The Lady Kim, built in 1979, has a wooden hull and is 75 feet long. She is propelled by a 365 horsepower diesel engine. Here are the doors which spread and hold the net open. The idler chains which were connected to the doors are disconnected and placed onto the net reel. The ground cables, which are 300 feet long, are used between the door and the net and create a dust cloud on the ocean bottom. The cloud acts as a barrier and funnels the fish into the net. The cable and chain you see now allows the net to open up to a height of 9 to 12 feet. The width of the net is 80 feet. The red floats keep the top of the net open and the heavy chain keeps the net on the bottom of the ocean. The length of the net is approximately 100 feet. The fish are funneled into the bag which is better known as a cotton. A rope connected to a metal wedge called a tripper is pulled and the fish spill out all over the deck. The catch consists of flute, better known as flounder, some squid, sea bass, porgies, ling, whiting, and butterfish. The Lady Kim has a crew of four, including the captain. The men work around the clock with only brief rest periods between haulbacks. A fishing trip usually lasts seven days. The work is very hard and tiring, yet rewarding. Here the net is being mended by a crew member. The hole was made by the chafing against the sandy bottom. An average catch per trip is 10 to 30,000 pounds. The average price for flounders runs between 50 cents and one dollar per pound at the dock. Here is a monkfish, sometimes called a poor man's lobster, due to the similarity in taste. The net is being returned to the water. Fishermen call this shooting the net. A tow will last from one to four hours, depending on the amount of catch. It takes approximately 25 minutes to haul back and set out the net. Flounder are caught from January to March, approximately 60 miles offshore. They are found in depths of 40 to 70 fathom. The water temperature would range from 45 to 55 degrees. Flounders are found on generally sand or mud bottom. During the summer months, the flounder move inshore. Here the chains are being hooked from the doors to the ground cable. The idler chains will be disconnected, releasing the net from the reel. The doors are lowered into the water to begin another tow. The cable length from the door to the boat is determined by the depth of water times three. So in 50 fathoms of water, we use 150 fathoms of cable. The fish are sorted out and washed before they are placed 
into the hole and cover it with ice. Near the trash fish, such as sea robin, dog shark, four spots, and starfish are shoveled back to the sea. Starfish are a menace to all shellfish because they kill the scallops and clams. Flocks of gulls come from nowhere to feed on the floating scrapfish. Salmon fishing vessels such as this Spanish trawler are frequently found in American waters. This vessel was fishing for squid. They use a net which is designed to fish 20 inches from the bottom to eliminate catching flounders. The Spanish are issued a large number of permits to fish within the U.S. waters. This is also another Spanish vessel owned by the same company. These beautiful gannets are diving for scrapfish. They can dive as deep as 100 feet. This is a container ship frequently seen on or near the fishing grounds. There are many types of commercial fishing in the Ocean City area, such as trawling, sword fishing, surf clamming, cohogging, lobstering, red crabbing, and sea bass fishing. You can see each day's catch being unloaded at the commercial fishing docks in West Ocean City. The trip should be interesting and rewarding.